In this lesson, we'll extrude out an extension underneath the barrel. So we'll create another piece that kind of connects up the, the barrel and this uh, cylindrical piece. So let me turn off the grid. And I'm going to take the barrel and I'm just going to scale it down slightly. And I just want to kind of move it up a little bit just so that it's right on top of this line on the cylinder. And I've just got the wireframe turned on, wireframe unshaded. So I want to create an extension that is sort of the width of this piece down here. So we could use our insert edge loop tool to add edge loops, or we could just take this edge in the middle and do a bevel on that. So we'll take this bevel and let's reduce the offset to maybe 0.4. So it's a little bit narrower than that. Let's go ahead and take these faces that have been created here. And let's do an extrude. And you can see if I increase the thickness, it's going to pull it out in this direction. And I don't really want that. So instead, I'm going to click on this little handle right here. It changes our manipulator. I'm just going to pull this out in the Z direction. So I'm just pulling it out straight out here. So something like that. Now I want to create an opening here. And so let's go ahead and do another extrude. We'll create a little offset here. Repeat that extrude, and again, I'm going to change the manipulator so I can push this straight back. I'll create a little bit of an edge there to hold that edge, and then pull that straight back into there. Now to kind of sharpen this up, we can start to add edge loops up here and on the front. So it can start to tighten that up a little bit. We can also tighten up the area where this comes off of the cylinder. And I want to create a few little kind of struts extending out from here and kind of going up into the barrel. So to do that, we need to add some edge loops. So let's go ahead and just use our insert edge loop tool. And let's use multiple edge loops so that we can add all these edge loops at the same time. And let's set this number to maybe six. We'll go ahead and add our edge loops in there. So now you can see that those are sort of evenly spaced. Okay. I want to kind of straighten out those edge loops before I extrude them. So I'm going to come into the side view and just select the points. I'm just going to kind of move them back until it's a little bit more of like a straight line. I can do the same thing up here, although it's not strictly necessary kind of straighten that up a little bit because you can see it was blended with that angle that occurred over at the side. Now let's select these polygons on the side and we'll do the same thing over here so that we can do both sides at once. Let's do an extrude and we'll create a little bit of thickness. G to repeat that and pull this out a little bit more. Okay. And let's do G again, kind of pull that out a little bit more. So something like that. Then we'll select these polygons on the top of those little ledges that we built. Let's down do another extrude. And let's pull this off of the surface. Okay. And if we want to kind of scale these out, they can kind of connect under that large part of the barrel. Now we can kind of smooth this just by hitting three on our keyboard. You can see where that's softened up at the top. We don't need those polygons. And so we can actually delete those. So I can come in here, delete those polygons just on the top. We'll do the same thing down here. Just making sure that we don't have anything selected that we don't want get rid of those polygons just by hitting delete. And you can see we have these sort of struts. Now if you want to add a little bit more resolution here to kind of tighten it up a little bit, if you want to insert some edge loops coming across, uh, you can do that too. So you know if you compare a little bit. So let me go ahead and reset the tool. We'll add a couple of edge loops um, right in here. And so you can see that's the difference in the, the look that you get. Um, also, you could come in and start to add an edge loop here, although 
Um, depending on which one you add it to, it may start to extend through here. For instance, if we were to add an edge loop coming in here, it would extend and change the shape of that cylinder shape. And so you just have to be aware that either cut it off here or you know, there's other options that you can use to kind of make sure that it's not continuing into a place where you don't want it. These loops will go all the way to the other side and hook up in the right spot. We can also come in here and begin to add some edge loops in this direction. And then also these right now come straight out the side. You could also kind of extrude that bottom portion down a little bit if you wanted to. Like underneath here, these faces. But I just want a little bit of a gap there because we're going to be putting some sort of uh, cord in there. All right, so that gives us our little extrusion on the bottom with the strut sticking up into the barrel. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is to add this sort of rounded piece up at the top of our of our stun gun here. So let's go ahead and do that in the next lesson.